Thank you for registering for Intro to Sakai. Sakai is DermTech's learning management system, and in this introductory workshop, you'll learn the basics of using Sakai to create announcements, post your syllabus, communicate with students, and end lesson content. To help you get started, this video will show you how to log into Sakai, upload a profile photo, access your course sites, and how to enter the Intro to Sakai workshop. To access Sakai, go to sakai.durhamtech.edu or you can use the link to Sakai that's located on the Employees page or on the Current Students page of Durham Tech's website. Use the fields in the upper right corner to log in with your Durham Tech user ID and password. This is the same user ID and password you used when you registered for the Intro to Sakai workshop. If you forget your password, you can use the Reset Password link on the left. This will allow you to reset your password for Sakai and other Durham Tech systems. If a student contacts you requesting password assistance, you can direct the student to use this reset password link as well. Each time you log into Sakai, you'll start here on the home screen. On the right side of the home screen is an aggregated calendar. It shows dates and deadlines from all of the courses you're involved in. And below the calendar, you'll see recent announcements from all of your course sites. Now let's take a look at a couple of items on the left side of the screen. Your home screen has its own resources area where you can store private files. By default, no one but you can see the files that you put in the resources area of your home screen. Further down the list is your profile area. If you'd like, you can upload a photo of yourself. Your profile photo will appear on the course roster and on any posts that you submit in the discussion forum or chat room. Just hover the mouse over the blank profile picture, then click Change Picture, and choose File to select your photo. Students can upload their photos as well. We encourage students and instructors to upload a profile photo as it adds a human element to their online interactions and can help contribute to the sense of community in the online learning environment. Okay, let's talk for a moment about course sites in Sakai. A course site provides a work area for a course section. This means when you teach multiple sections, you'll be provided with a course site for each section. The tools in your course sites provide you with options that allow you to add text, files, images, videos, and much more as you build your course content. Your course sites also provide the tools you'll need to document student progress, provide feedback, and otherwise manage your courses. You'll learn more about some of these tools in the Intro to Sakai workshop, and others are covered in the Intermediate Sakai workshop. To access your course sites, click Sites in the upper right corner. Here you'll find a list of all sites you have access to. For example, this instructor has been added to the Intro to Sakai workshop and a practice course site. Sites with a yellow star next to them are favorited and are pinned to the navigation bar at the top of the screen for easy access. You can click the star beside any site to favorite or unfavorite it. When you close the sites window, Sakai will prompt you to reload the page if you've made changes to your favorites. Okay. These were the basics of navigating Sakai. You'll learn more about how to use Sakai in the Intro to Sakai workshop. When you're ready to start, just log into Sakai and locate Intro to Sakai in your Sites window. If you need any assistance during the workshop, please contact sakaihelp at durhamtech.edu.